Hello YouTube, got some good news. Finally, we got the interface board available. Uh, for those of who are new to my channel or new to this video, the interface board is something that I designed and built. It will let you plug into the Redivis RT97S uh, or the Midland MXR10 GMRS 2A radio repeaters. Those repeaters have a data port on the side and this interface board is plug and play right into there and then now you can plug in your USB DB9 adapter which is sold separately this is plugged into a computer on the other end you can plug that in and also you hook up your audio cables to your USB sound card that is also sold separately and you plug this into your USB sound card that is hooked up to your computer and this will let you do run computer software like date and time, weather announcements, uh, your repeater ID. Uh, you can have that go over the airwaves and or over Zello. This interface board lets you use Zello with your repeater. If you're wondering what Zello is, that is um, a communication type of program that lets you uh, use a smartphone or a tablet you can talk on that and then people with two-way radios can hear you uh, talk over that and they can talk back to you using a two-way radio now also Zello lets you link up repeaters what I mean by that is let's say you have one repeater on one side of the town and you have another repeater on the other side of the town and they're, and, and, and they're too far apart. You cannot link them through the airwaves. Zello lets you link them through the internet. So when somebody talks on repeater A, whether they're using a radio or a smartphone, it's going to transmit over both repeaters, over the radios and over the smartphones. So that's the kind of the, the, the purpose of, of using Zello. It kind of makes you add more communications to your two-way radio repeater. So... That's what that is for. Now, when you get your interface board, it will come with plastic standoffs. These are trimmable. They're plastic. You can cut them with a razor blade, hacksaw, sandpaper. And the reason why is that everybody's uh, layout might be different. You can adjust the height of the board so it matches your DB9 adapter that's on the repeater. So you can cut these down to um, the lengths that you need. For that okay so that's what the stands are for they will be included now before you get a interface board you must read the forum now I'm gonna post a link to this forum in the description below this forum is gonna have all the information you need on how to set the board up it may uh, have the common questions you may be wondering but it's all gonna be here that was kind of part of the, of the delay is me writing up documentation so all this is going to be there is two pages um, but I, I where I could I did pictures words and video links what I mean by that is when you let's pick this particular one you go to first time setup and you can see here I have words obviously and I have links to videos so if you don't understand how it's written up or you don't understand the picture you can go to a video and watch a video so I try to include all those if it was possible through this whole setup on all these steps okay so um, that's the reason why you need to go here before you get the board and it's gonna have answers to your questions you know what else do you need with the board obviously you need a computer you need a uh, USB DB9 adapter you need a USB sound card, all that sold separately. Now, the good news is for a computer, you don't need a fancy computer. It can be an old one. Uh, matter of fact, I had it running on Windows 8 on my old, old laptop, and it ran just fine. So that's the good news. You don't need a fancy high-tech laptop to, to run this. Um, but you need to read all this so that you know what the board can and cannot do, okay? I don't want you... You know, if, if, if you buy the board and then you send me an email saying, well, I didn't know I needed a computer to make the board work, that's on you because that's, you know, that's all that is here. So 
Just make sure you read that. Uh, if you have any questions that are not on here, please feel free to email me. I'll post my email link down below. I'd rather you email me than you get the board and you find out later that, oh, well, uh, you know, the board you know, can or cannot do that function. So make sure you email me. I, 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 that, that would be your best bet before you get the board. Now, online store. I will post a link to online store. I've had my testers test the online store. It works just fine. You follow the directions. Um, so, But you do need to set up an account. It's a big red box right there. You cannot miss it. You need to set up an account uh, before you do an order. And your account that you're going to set up is going to have the address that you want the board to be shipped to. That's how it calculates the shipping cost. Also, it does not like P.O. box numbers, so do not use a P.O. box. I had a tester try it. It did not like it. I cannot control that. I cannot change that. That is part of the shipping software. There, there's nothing I can do about it. So if you don't want to use your address for whatever reason, use a friend, use a relative, use a neighbor. I don't care what address you use, but just remember the address you put on your account is where I'm going to to ship the board to. So make sure you're aware of that. Also, if you can see here, another reason why you need to make an account, I have it so you can track your order. Obviously, I'm going to be sending you a tracking number when you place the order. Okay? So you can track your order right from my website. You click on track order. You can copy and paste it. I will be sending the tracking number to your account that you have on this store. So you can copy and paste the tracking number here. Uh, just make sure there's no spaces in the tracking number if you copy and paste it. Or you can use your order number and email address to track your order. So make sure, um, you, like I said, you use a good address. But that's how you can track your order right from my store. So that is um, why you need to make an account. Now, I'm going to mention, I've had people ask me, well, why don't you include the USB sound card or the or the USB DVI adapter with the interface board or sell it separately on your store? Why don't you do that? And at this point, um, there's two reasons why I'm not doing that at this time. This could change in the future. But at this time, I am not doing that. One reason is because for me to be able to sell them the same price that you can buy them on eBay for, I have to buy a lot of them. I don't want to buy a lot of USB sound cards. I don't want to buy a lot of USB DB9 adapters. So that's one reason why I, I'm not doing that. Uh, the other reason why is uh, returns and tax support. I don't have the time. I'm a one-man show. I don't have the time to deal with if you get a defective USB uh, USB DB9 adapter, I gotta send you a new one. I gotta do you know help you get it going. Whatever the case may be, I don't have time to do that at this moment. Um, so that's why I'm gonna have you buy those separately from other companies. I did post some links in my forum. There's also some links in the description on the store that you could. Go there and get those if you choose to. You don't have to use the exact same ones I did, but that's how I'm going to do it for now at this time. Maybe in the future I may come up with a better way and I may offer those at the store. We'll have to see. I, I'm not sure about that. So so that's uh, why that is done uh, this way. Now, another thing I, I want to mention too is, as I said before, I'm a one-man show. I build each board by hand. Each board is tested by me. So there's not going to be an option to back order uh, these boards. And the reason being is because I don't want to be in a situation where people prepaid for their boards and something happens to me. I get sick. I break all my fingers. I can't make your board. I don't want that. You know, like I said, I'm a one man show. So I, I, I don't want that to happen. So. If it's out of stock, shoot me an email, and I will tell you an ETA when I get them in stock. When you do see them in stock, that's telling you how many boards I have ready to be shipped, ready to be boxed, 
ready to go. That's what that means. They've been tested. They're all set to go. Now, it brings me to the next question. I'm going to, I'm sure people are going to ask, well, what, how long is it going to take to get more boards in? Now, every part of this board comes from a different company. I don't make one phone call and I get a big box full of boards and parts. That's not how it works. My boards come from one company. My capacitors come from another company. My cables come from another company. My resistors come from another. Every component literally comes from all over the world. So be, please be patient. I will try to get the boards back in stock as fast as I can. Now, as for shipping, how fast can you get them shipped? Again, that's going to depend on how fast the bank uh, payment clears. Once that clears, I'm going to try to get it shipped, hopefully within 24 to 48 hours. But please be patient. I live in the country. This is going to be affected by weather. This is going to be affected by holidays and weekends. So, you know, uh, for an example, if you order Saturday night, you're not going to get your board Monday. Okay? You, you know, your payment may not clear until Tuesday. So hopefully you get your board, uh, get your board sent out Wednesday or Thursday. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, I'm going to get out of sun as fast as I can. So please be patient with me as I fine-tune all of this. So, at any rate, I hope this helps answer some questions. If you have any more questions, please shoot me an email. I'll post that link down below in the description. I want to thank you. Uh, have a good day. Please subscribe. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Have a good day.